Yagami-san, I've come to a conclusion. About what? I think I'm gonna try to apply for jobs where I can utilize my drawing skills. Sounds like a great idea. There is this web design company I've been following for some time now. I'd like to apply there. What? Hope you don't get turned down, my god. That's very bold of you. I like it. Is that really bold, though? I mean, it's just applying for a job. <laughs> Thanks. I've always wanted to do something like this, you know? Well, keep at it. Oh, and I appreciate you helping me come to this realization. Me? I didn't do much. Actually, you did. I realized something after hearing your story. Sometimes, you just have to stop using your head and follow your heart. I don't know if that's exactly how I'd put it, but yeah, that's the general idea. Kid, because that's my new philosophy on life. At least for now, lol. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's bold of her because it's something she likes, but not necessarily something she can make a career out of. We'll see. Yeah, look at her picture. It's alcohol. Sorry about today, Yagami-san. My friend got the totally wrong idea about us. Duh. Would she like that? Guess I can be a little bit more forward. Hey, I thought it was a good idea. It's an honor to be mistaken as your boyfriend, Nanami-san. Flattery won't get you anywhere, you know. I'll tell Yuko it was all a misunderstanding. Okay. Oh, and thanks for today. Of course. I'm glad I can make it up to you, at least in a small way. Okay. Uh, let's hang out again. Mm. Very subtly different. Uh, maybe we'll... Don't want to be so forward because she's said explicitly she doesn't want to be dating. This is kind of weird because if I'm her and I told somebody, hey, I'm not looking to date, then I really would not appreciate someone continually trying to date me. But from like a video game point of view, it's like, well, I'm trying to date this girl, so I gotta date her. <laughs> but if I were on the receiving end, I would probably prefer hanging out. How about we hang out again? Not as a thank you this time. Sure. As long as I have time, I'd be happy to see you again. Oh, wow, that went up by a lot. <gasps> Already? Should I text Nanami-san? Nah, she might be busy. Okay, let's do this. What should I say? Uh, how have you been? <laughs> Since 20 seconds ago when I stopped talking to you. I've been doing well, thanks. Work is busy as usual, though. What about you? Are you busy these days? More or less, I'm actually looking for stuff to do. Are you now? Should I ask her out on a date? Ah, yeah, of course. If you're free, maybe we can hang out again? Sorry, but there's a deadline coming up for this huge project I've been working on. Understood. I'll make it up to you sometime, okay? Nice hearing from you. Oh man, I know she's busy and all, but dang. I guess I can always text her later. <laughs> no, no, this is a bit too much. We'll wait. But yeah, like, she's busy. This is the first girl to turn down our invitations for dates. And I guess that makes her more alluring, too, because it's like, we want what we can't have. <laughs> nah. Hey, Yosuke-kun. You got a minute? Yagami-san. Oh, Yagami-san. What's up? You finally cave into the thirst for some titties? <laughs> right. Yosuke-kun's a sex shop bar- Yosuke-kun's a sex shop barker. Maybe he's even seen Hachitani. Actually, I'm just looking for someone. Have you seen this woman? Oh, the, the honey trap woman. Hmm, can't say that I have. Oh, I have. 
Ooh. Really? Where? <laughs> I'll tell you for 10k. Uh... You're trying to sell it? <laughs> Sorry about this guy, Yagami-san. He's got a nose for cash. What should I do? I've got her chatter, so I might be able to find it myself. I'm not paying 10k. I'm not paying that. Have it your way. Jeez, how annoying. I actually just wanted to talk to Yosuke here, but that might not be possible. Screw that. We know she's at a fast food restaurant, right? So all we gotta do is pick a random one around here and walk in and maybe see if she's there. There's a mysterious friend here. I mean, even this right here. Does Hao wanna talk to me? Here again, Yagami-san? I am so sorry. <laughs> I thought you would have stuff to give me because we're friends. But nope. Sorry, kind of wrecked the seats a little bit. The sky again. Three texts. What's well, three? Because we got to text Nanami ourselves. So I submitted my designs to the company today. It feels so weird having my work evaluated. It's like so corporate. Hope I did okay. Aha! Uh -huh. So the moment of truth draws near. Hey, <laughs> yep. What were you up to today? Uh, working. Running around town, handling requests, the usual. That's good. I bet you get some weird jobs every now and then, huh? Yeah, like chasing down the Twisted Trio. <laughs> Too many, as a matter of fact. Oh. Wait. Okay, she was just kind of texting me? No date from that? Or maybe I should have said I was bored. Oh, frick. <laughs> oh, we can't talk. So this is a fast food restaurant. Anything up here? Nope. Oh, sorry, man. Hmm? Who's this from? Oh my god. I made the guy disappear. I was actually just trying to read his book. That was all. Now, was there another fast food restaurant around here? We can go looking around for all of them. I got all the time in the world. Thank you. There was something about like a ramen shop and... Oh, there's a poster around here. Hold on. Here? Second floor. What the hell is this? Heck is this? EX Tiger dances with Crane. Okay. Huh. That's probably like a hundred SP, right? So we can probably get that. Wherever it is. Here. Tiger dances with Crane. Focus your inner energy to release a destructive blow that drills through an enemy's chest. Whoa. Usable only during EX boost. Uses all EX gauge segments. Dang, that sounds like a really powerful one. What is this place? Oh, there's just kind of a random office here. Alright. Who texted me? Yosuke! Hey, Yagami-san, it's Yosuke. Tsukino stopped being her usual self all of a sudden. Did something happen? Oh, you didn't hear? Huh? Are you dating her now? No, no, that's not it. Did you do it with her? <laughs> Just said we're not! No! 
But she's been doing a lot of skincare and stuff lately. Well, she's a girl. It's like she's in love mode or something. I think it's because she's prepping for her interview. Well, to be fair, it could be both. She's still a student, you know. Make sure you wear rubber. Dude, aren't you supposed to be her brother? That's so British. I don't think anybody in America says rubber. <laughs> Caring about your skincare routine for an interview, though? That might be a... A tad weird, but hey. Girls caring about how they look. That's not new. It's not exactly new. Hey, Ryan! My buddy? <sighs> cool. Okay, so we have wet to kitchen here. Anybody around in the air? Oh? Am I in time? Does anyone here look like Hachitani? <gasps> oh, we found it! On our second one! There's three young women here. Hachitani's distinguishing features are... I need to inspect the women's faces carefully, and then I can approach. Hmm. Wasn't she blonde? Late teens to early twenties. Drooping eyes. Mole under left eye, blonde hair. Hmm? Hmm? I actually feel like it might be this woman. Hmm? Yeah, even though she's not blonde. Hmm. hmm. They don't match the profile, not the one. Really? Oh, you get SP for that. Even if you get it wrong, you get SP. Hmm? Hmm. hmm, they don't match the profile, not the one. But none of them match then. That's weird. None of the women match her description completely. It's that one lady by herself. Obviously! That woman with glasses has clearly different characteristics. Hmm? The blonde woman is going to leave, but the woman with the mole beneath her eye is still here. Should I follow the blonde? No! You can change your hair color, but you can't change your mole. Wait, the woman with the mole beneath her eye, ignoring the hair, the features mash up. But hair is easy enough to change with a wig. Of the three, there's a good chance that woman is Hachitani. Hello? Kokun? Yeah, hmm. I'm at Weta Kitchen right now. Kogun? Is that a guy? What? Really? Yeah, of course I want to see you. Eh? Hmm? Nah, same old me. What? You like me blonde? Yes. Bingo. I knew it was a wig. She freaking talks about it right as we wonder about it. Uh-huh, got it. I'll be right there. Oh no, tailing? She gonna meet with her boyfriend? But she's left with Hinata-san, so... Well, that doesn't prove she set him up or anything. But it sure does make her scummy if that's the case. I need to see where this goes. I should probably tail her. Why is she doing this, though? For money? Sell the story to the tabloids for money? Hmm. Look at the night streets of Kamurocho. So many lights everywhere. Pretty different from the daytime. We all good? There's no spot for us to hide at. Here? <laughs> that works, kind of. Seriously, there's no official hiding points anywhere. Oh, I'm scared she'll look around. 
But actually, out of all the people, she's not looking around at all. So she's progressing relatively fast here. That's awesome. I guess she's not as suspicious about her surroundings. No, she's still here. I'm standing 20 miles away. How's she looking at me? She doesn't even know me. Oh, finally. That took freaking forever. She's going to the hotels. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> mm -hmm. Huh? That guy. Isn't he... Ah, uh, the other comedian. Kotatsu-san? Why is she with him? I think I better get this conversation on record. Yeah, the whole thing is trying to push down Hinata. So how's the horny Hinata thing going? Sounds like a real fiasco. Higurashi. Yeah, he's been super depressed. I think the agency is gonna fire him soon, too. Heh. <laughs> Sounds like it's finally your turn to shine, Kotatsu-kun. Yup, son of a bitch was getting really cocky lately, too. Serves his dumbass right. What a fucking idiot. He fell for it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> he had no freaking clue how old you were. You should have seen his face when he found out. Oh god, I bet it was hilarious. <sighs> Are you actually underage, though? Because that's... Uh... Yup, this is going places. I better get a photo for insurance. Oh, I wanted to take the photo myself. Hey, you two. Sounds like you've been busy lately. Excuse me? You set up a honey trap with your own girl? You're a real bastard, aren't you? Yeah, like what the heck? You actually made your girlfriend go sleep with someone else? Who the hell are you? Doesn't matter. But just so you know, I've got a record of that entire conversation you just had. Not to mention, a photo of you having a good time with a minor. What? I bet I know a few magazines who would pay big money for a shot like this. <laughs> but he's not famous, so no one cares. So if I were you, I'd come clean about what really happened. You bastard. No one screws with me! I'll fucking kill you! Uh... I don't recommend trying. I'm a black belt in karate, motherfucker! You'll be sorry you underestimated me! Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. Let's make this quick. I gotta read a text. <laughs> that pain you're feeling now? I'm sure Hinata-san is gonna feel worse when he finds out who betrayed him. Damn it! What was all that about a black belt? Pretty pathetic. Huh? What do you want? The truth. Huh? Considering the situation you're in, I don't think you want to go down as this guy's accomplice. So let's hear it. Kotatsu asked me to. He did? Yeah. He was jealous of how popular Hinata was getting, so he figured we could set him up and profit off of it, too. The whole thing was his idea. So the money was good enough to make you sleep with another guy? How much are we talking? I got the tabloids to pay for the story, and Hinata's agency to pay damages. It was about 5 million in total. Uh. Dang. I guess to a minor, that'd be quite a payday. I'm not a minor. Oh, really? I had a hunch. How old are you really? 28. <laughs> I'm 22. So you've been lying about your age the whole time. But how did you convince the tabloid? I pretended to be my little sister, and I showed them her school ID. And they don't publish the names of minors in magazines, so it worked. I see. So now your poor little sister has a rep for sleeping with a guy she's never even met? Well, no, because the name was never published. They didn't publish her name. She's totally safe. 
Well, it sounds like to me you've got another story to sell, Hachitani san. Huh? But. You're gonna say Higurashi here threatened you into doing it, but your moral compass made you come clean. But. That would be betraying Gotatsu. It would? But have you considered how well it's going to pay? Oh! I'll do it! Wow! <sighs> Classy as they come. Just so you know, I'm not paying. Oh, Hironuma-san? I just wanted to thank you for giving me that tip. Oh, hey! Did you find any leads? This is the journalist guy. Forget leads. I've got the whole scoop. Oh? Do go on. I'd say the public and the media are in for quite a shocker. And I've got the proof and a witness all lined up. So, you interested? Very. Let's hear it. So the short version is, Higurashi coerced you into setting up Hinata? Do I have that straight? Yep, that's the whole story. What? This is incredible. Yagami-san, are you sure you're okay with giving me the exclusive? Yeah, I don't mind. I'm not even a real journalist. <gasps> huh? I'm sorry I lied, but I'm actually a local detective. I didn't mean to trick you. <sighs> Why didn't you just say so from the start? But that sure makes for an interesting spin, huh? I'm looking forward to your article. Leave it to me. I'm gonna head straight back into the office and start typing it up. Nice. And Yagami-san? If you ever get any more scoops like this, I hope you'll call me. And if I've got info, it's yours. Gotta give before you take, right? Yup. See you around. What about Hinata, though? That's who's really our client here. <laughs> I've gotta say, watching Kotatsu's press conference was really satisfying. I hear he's on an indefinite hiatus. Yeah, his whole stand-up shtick is getting angry at the drop of a hat. But he was sobbing like a baby. And thanks to you, I'll be back up on stage myself pretty soon. Congratulations! It's all thanks to you, Yagami-san. I am forever in your debt. Nah. I just went where the truth took me. No way, man! I owe you a drink at the least. Sure. But wouldn't it be kind of lame for a couple of guys to go out drinking? Maybe I should call up a girl. <laughs> Dude, give me a break. <laughs> Too easy, man. I'll see you soon. Give me money, not drinks. 200,000, finally. Okay. Tsukino? Yagami-san, good news! What is it? I passed the initial screening for that company! Oh, wonderful! And now they want to talk to me in person! That's ser that's amazing! Isn't it? I knew you would pass with flying colors, Tukino-chan! Well, it's the initial screening, okay? Don't get too happy. It's like a dream come true! I can hardly believe it even now! They responded pretty fast, huh? You went for the interview pretty fast, too. <laughs> I asked HR about that, and they told me that someone there saw my illustrations and said they wanted to talk to me without even looking at my profile. Wow, I guess your drawings really do make a giant impact. Heh. <laughs> That's not funny, Yagami-san. Hmm, what if they get disappointed after meeting me in person? Well, they've already seen your skills. You'll be fine, as long as you prepare. Yeah, I should do that, huh? Practice? I mean, more practice is better than nothing, I guess. You want me to help you again? Yes, please. Okay, then I'll see you at Theater Square as usual. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Now, just out of curiosity here. Oh, we can't see the map. I wanted to see if Tsukino and Nanami are at the same spot. But I think it's slightly different, so... yeah. Good for me. 
All right. Okay. Do we want to text Nanami one more time? Another mystery event. Good day, Yagami-sama. This is Kawada from Cloudy Skies Publishing. Thank you for your help the other day. I have contacted you again in hopes to ask for your help once more. I'll await you at the cafe. Could you please come by when you have time? Thank you. This one pays pretty well, so I wouldn't mind doing it, but um, uh, really depends. Am I bothering Nanami-san a little bit too much here? Don't do it, do it anyway? Uh, the way this is laid out with a no option on top kind of makes me feel like we shouldn't be texting her, but let's try it anyway. Yeah, why not? Hello there, Nanami-san. It's me, Yagami. Oh, are you okay? Uh-oh, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? <laughs> of course. Of course I am. Just thought I'd remind you I'm still alive. Has it really been that long? A little. Business as usual, Nanami-san? I'm not sure what they intend for the time intervals between the dates to be, because you know how Tsukino basically went on that interview in the span of one night? But in actuality, it should have been over maybe a few days, right? So when she asks, has it really been that long? I don't know how long it's been. Actually, today was a little slower than usual. You know what I did? I went to the park and had myself a bento. It was great. Sounds like you had a nice little time. I did. I should probably do this more often. Looks like Nanami-san might have some time to spare. Should I ask her out on a date? Yeah? If you're free, then why don't we hang out somewhere? Good idea. Oh yeah! Wow, we have to actively work for this one. Yagami-san, do you remember Yukko? You met her last time. Yeah, your friend, right? What about her? I know she was getting really excited over you, more than a lady probably should, lol. How about the three of us get together? Huh? Why not just the two of us? Mm, she might not want me to get the wrong idea. Sure. Sounds good to me. I think it sounds a lot like you're only after her as a potential dating partner if you only want to get together when it's us two. Great! I'm sure Yuko will be ecstatic. I'll contact you after I talk to Yuko. Hmm, three friends meeting up together. Hope this isn't her way of rejecting me. Though I guess taking two ladies out on the town is kind of special in its own way. Oh. Oh, Nanami-san is so mysterious and alluring. I need to know more about her. <laughs> that was fast! Whoa, that, wow. Yagami-san, Yuko says she's available anytime. When are you free next? I'm free right now. I'm free right now, actually. Can we meet up where we did last time? Sure. In front of the arcade at Theater Square, right? We'll be waiting. Okay. We're already back here, though, so we should probably rest up for the night. Recruit Saori again. Back at Genda's law office, I suppose. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> They're standing right next to each other. What am I gonna do with myself? My god. Okay, alright. Well, um... Oh, you know what? Before anything else, we gotta stock up on gifts at La Marche. Gee, <laughs> another dirty cloth? Okay, thank you very much. I have a bit of money again. Hmm, I don't know. There's really not that large of a selection here, so we keep giving the same gifts again and again. I don't have money for these watches, although I feel like maybe someone like Nanami would appreciate it. God. Lord. Standard timepiece. <laughs> I've completely lost track of what I've given to who. Seriously. Seriously, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Midnight ring? I can't afford anything too expensive though, that's the thing too. Maybe I'll just buy a whole bunch of these. Trinity... Earrings... Sure. <laughs> Whatever. I just spent half my money on gifts again. Oh my god, why are women so expensive? Seriously! <laughs> okay. Let's go see Saori-san, alright? Oh, feels like we haven't been here for a really long time. Morning, everybody. How you doing, my boy? How are you doing, Genda-sensei? And how are you doing, Saori-san? ねえ、サオリさん。はい。実はまた頼みがあってきたんだけど。頼み。ああ。聞いてくれる？Oh, <laughs> I'm her. I can say never mind. <laughs> ねえ、はい。実は頼み。聞いてくれる？I guess I have to. ええ。じゃあ言うけど、サオリさんには木戸にハニートラップを仕掛けてもらいたいんだ。ハニートラップ色仕掛けで男を騙すってこと。私がですか。星野。サオリさんがハニートラップ。おい、本気か<笑> あいては創薬センターの軌道。あいつを神室町まで呼び出してもらいたい。冗談じゃない。キャバ嬢になるのはまだしも枕営業までさせる気ですか。いやいやいやいや、ちょっと待ってよ。ハニートラップってそういうこと
Why is he nervous? <gasps> They're alone! メイク姿は<笑> Oh my god, you're making me do this again? <laughs> oh, can we just do this really quickly this time? Oh my god. Well, if we're gonna be a journalist, then I feel like... Isn't her normal hairstyle okay? I don't have the energy to go through this twice in one game, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, how Saori-san looks normally, I think is totally fine. Would it be, though? I don't know. Glasses, I think, would add to the journalist look. So, if we can get that... I can hardly see what's going on underneath the hair. Sure. Where are her glasses? Contacts? <laughs> Just stick to something normal. Oh, the glasses is in the above section, so we can't really... So we can't select it here. Hmm. I guess we can do some more, like, um, not as hostessy makeup. Although, like I said, I've had enough of Barbie for one game. <laughs> uh... No, 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 this is journalism, okay? We don't need makeup that's too obvious. It's fine. Cheeks? Even that might be a tad too much. Well, maybe a little bit. It's not that noticeable anyway. Cheek color. Her hair is not really letting it show that well, because it's covering up everything. Hmm. I still really like this hairstyle, but if we're going as a journalist, I don't feel like... Well, it still works. It's not like it's bad or anything. It still works. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what kind of girl Kido likes, so I don't... No, we had to look through all these hairstyles already, and I'm pretty sure the one... I don't know. I mean, Saori-san's normal hairstyle is okay, too. Um... Oh... I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we can do this one again? Or... Saori-san's normal look. But apparently this hairstyle is for shy people, so maybe we'll just go for this again. <laughs> Wait, she looks like a freaking delinquent high school girl now. <laughs> Normal hair color, okay? She's a journalist. Something dark. Why are these hair colors so light? Yeah, these are a little bit too light. This? Again? Uh, it could work. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't want to spend 20 minutes doing Saudi's makeup again. <laughs> I went back and last time we literally spent 20 minutes. <laughs> again? <laughs> God! さすが。いや、やっぱりすごいです、サオリさん。超いい。素敵な最初。大人の女性の色かが。まだ言いますか。すいません。つい興奮しちゃって。準備できました。もう後は大丈夫です。本当に素敵です。また余計なことを。すいません。<笑><笑> 
The makeup might be a little bit too much. I'm glad you care, but don't panic. I've got this. やなみさんは危険はないと言ってました。命の危険はないかもですけど、ほら、木戸に押し入り触られたりとかそういうのが。それくらいは覚悟してます。え、そんな。それじゃ。そうです。はい。メイク褒めてもらって嬉しかったです